How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video and in today's video guys We're gonna be working on one of the Chrysler DLC cars and we're working on the Chrysler 300C So this is one of the new DLC cars like I, <coughs> I just said it has a SRT8 motor in it. It's a V8 overhead valve um, I think it's the same one as that we have in the Jeep Grand Cherokee, I think uh, let me check really quick. <laughs> so, looking for the Jeep. Yep, Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. There's also one in the Dodge. The Dodge that I thought we had. Hmm. Okay, yeah, there's also one in the... What is it? The uh, whatever the Dodge truck is, the the, the weird looking Dodge Ram SRT8. Uh, there's also one in there, but yeah, we got one right here in the Chrysler 300. So we're gonna be popping this bad boy out today, working on this motor and rebuilding it. I think this one is a this is a new motor. It's different than the rest. Uh, it's a different SRT8 than the other ones. So I'm curious to see how much different, and or what they mean by different. So you know what? I'm just gonna get right into it. We're gonna drop the drive shaft out of here. Oh, there we go. Pop that out of here. And if you guys are watching this video and you are not subscribed yet, you guys should totally hit that subscribe button because if you guys didn't know, we are at, I think, 98,700 subscribers. So roughly 1,300 away from hitting 100K, which is going to be super, super cool. Once you do that, I'm going to do a really, really long uh, live stream. I think, I, I'm not sure exactly how long, but I still need to get a live stream webcam for that. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing a big live stream. We're playing a bunch of different games. Uh, Car Mechanic, uh, probably Farming Sim, and then maybe some other games that I play in my free time. So if you guys want to make sure you are here for that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell button just so you can make sure you see when that's happening. Because I will post it on the community page and I'll say it in a few videos, but just in case you don't see any of that. If you are subbed, you should you should see it. Okay. So you still have valve push rods. So it's got the overhead valve F and overhead valve G. So it's a G, it's a G block. So it's an overhead valve G block. Um, so we got some normal rocker arms here, but these ones come off in a set. Thank you. The individual ones are actually painful to take off oh wrong button all right pop that out what am i missing here oh haha -ha, spark plug last one then i think yeah there's usually no oil pan or uh rod bearing caps so i usually can just pop these bad boys out And then drop the crankshaft and block. All right, that was uh, pretty simple. This looks like it's going to be a pretty straightforward uh, build here. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, it should be pretty easy. Let's see. Do I save crankshaft? Okay, so we'll see if they actually added in performance parts. I'm pretty sure they're using some of the old stuff, so they should have it in here. Red valve C. So there's this. Overhead valve G. Hmm. That's not good. The alternator. Do we have an alternator? We've got a cam gear. We have cam gear? No. Okay. All right. Well, here. I'm going to go through really quick, buy up all the parts I think we need for this build, um, for this motor, obviously. And I'll see you guys back here with that. All righty, guys. So I got a bunch of the parts I think we're going to need. Um, I'm not sure if this whole motor is via overhead valve G, so... I wasn't able to buy some of the stuff I thought we were going to need because I didn't want to accidentally uh, over purchase some items. But that's okay. So we'll get the whole bottom end, I think, of the transmission side. And then we should be able to go through and evaluate what we need. At least I got the pistons right. I almost bought the wrong pistons when I went in to purchase them because I almost 
forgot that these Hemi motors have the domed top. I almost forgot that. Okay, get our filter in. But I got most of the parts that we can see here that we need to be putting on. And it looks like there's probably not going to be too much I can do in the way of uh, performance mods, sadly. Um, I'm obviously going to be putting in everything I can. But, um, like this, what the heck? Why do they have an M on this? An M version on this? Why, why would they do that? I bought the G version. Uh, V8 overhead valve M oil pan. Be real, I don't really know what this one is for. Oh, it's a, okay, so it's a Chrysler specific pan. Okay, yeah, see, I I had no idea this was even in the game yet. Now I know that there is actually Chrysler specific parts. Um, sometimes they just add mods in and then they'll just reuse old stuff. But at least it's nice to see that they actually uh, added in some new parts. I'm throwing this on here now because it's easy. Obviously, it's a little janky here. Uh, we need some more bearings. See clutch release bearings or throw out bearings. There they go. Buy 20 at a time, and I usually don't have to replace them. Maybe replace them or buy new ones once every two months or so. Something like that. Okay. Let me chain F. Oh. See, I, I tried. I tried. But that's what happens. Uh, all this with like motors like this, they uh, just have different different parts. So I'll have to go in individually, uh, one at a time, and get these. Oh, I saw something else in there I needed. Foul push rods. I think we had the F versions, so... At least I bought the right timing cover. No, the pulley. I4B power steering pump. That's a strange one. Okay. I went through, bought all the parts. I think we should be... Pretty close here. Yeah. Let's see. I still need the serpentine belt because I'm not sure what type of belt this even uses. I'm assuming it's going to be using M belts. G belts. Okay. Well, before I get any further, let's rotate this. Okay, red valve. Oh, I'm on the page actually. Don't don't move it. Okay. Let's take that. Push it with that. Our belt tensioner in there. All right. So it looks like the front half is done. Then that's completely done. So now we can do the top half. Looks like these uh, heads just sit on here with absolutely no bolts. But that's okay. None of my business. M. Hmm. Well, as I feared, there is no M performance parts. Let's see what they brought into the game, actually, for this. V overhead valve M. So there's a Chrysler part right there for the older carb. Older. Uh, there's one right here. We're gonna need these fuel rail covers. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need that right there. It's actually pretty easy. I can just go through and look and see what has the Chrysler markings on it. Uh, we're gonna need new rocker arms, but not these ones. We're gonna need different ones. Yeah, so it looks like the older motor has a couple more, uh, a couple more like parts specific for it, which is. Nice for that motor. Oh wow, this is a very tall intake here. What is he using? Throttle K? Okay. I can go find one of those. Let's be overhead valve K. Let's see if we got one of those in here. Hopefully, be it overhead valve K. That's OJV. OJ. OJV. 88 O. Okay. Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. Pop these bad boys in there. 
All right, so the intake is looks like it's good to go. Maybe there's something that goes on the back there, but I'm not sure. All right. Also, where's the fuel? Hmm. Not quite sure where the fuel goes in, but not going to worry about that right now. We got push rods to get in. I also haven't bought the other parts yet. This right here. Rocker arms, V overhead valve, G. <clears throat> Kind of sucks, like I said, that everything is so spread out, honestly. It's just, it's not the easiest thing. Uh, yeah, I didn't think there was in here. Get two, one for each side. At least these are all one, though, making it easy. Put that head cover on. I would have known I had an extra, probably wouldn't have bought that one. And there we go. I'm excited to see what this motor is actually going to put down for power. It is an SRT8, so it should be making like 500 minimum, 700. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it makes, but I'll get it put in the car here by the end of the video and it should give us a rough estimation of the um, approximate stock horsepower. What does this take right now? VA overhead valve G. Okay. That means we got to put in the stock ignition coils. If your boy could find a V8 overhead valve G. Yeah. Uh... I'm not seeing it here. I found it right there, though. Uh, eight of these. My only question is, yeah, where's the the fuel? There's the fuel rail. Okay, I was like, where is the fuel going to be coming in through? I saw that we had these holes up here, but it wasn't giving me the option yet, so I was getting a little worried. And last spark plug, ignition coils, cover, Hemi 6.1. Then we need the DI rail. The DI rail is performance though. We can go get one of those. We'll definitely be getting one of these. Okay. Nope, not you. Yes. And this one. Okay. So, it appears that that should conclude the motor. Let me move that over to A really quick because I don't like putting a motor in a rusted out shell. Hit this quick with a quick, uh, quick blast and boom. There you go. That looks good at least. 100%. And... Now we got that in there. Let's see, what does it give us for approximate horsepower? Wow, 431, actually. I thought for an SRT8 motor, it might have a little bit more power under the hood. What is this? We finished the motor on this one, right? We did, yes. Let me move this uh, to parking really quick. Move this one to parking really quick. We got to pull in the other SRT8. Wait, did I, where did I just go? Did I just go to Junkyard? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I just traveled to Junkyard. Or parking. I traveled to the Junkyard. Oops. Hey, there's a Bugatti. Did not mean to travel to the junkyard. All right, so we're gonna go back into parking. Um, yeah, what I'm gonna do is grab the Jeep Cherokee, uh, the Grand Cherokee, not Cherokee, the Grand Cherokee SRT8, and see what the horsepower on that was, because that was a fully built Grand Cherokee, 
that I'm pretty sure it's pushing over 700 and some horsepower pretty easily. Parking. All right, move that bad boy here. Let's take a look. Oh, wow, we did not work on this one. 469. Okay, that is a little bit of a difference. Where's the red Cherokee? Did I sell that one? Jeepin' Cherokee right there. That's not the correct one. There's the Power Wagon. There's the Wrangler. Hmm. All right, well, it looks like I may have made a mistake and sold it, so I don't really have a good thing to base off of. But the other Grand Cherokee that we had sitting in there, the rusted out one, that one was around four something also, so I guess that doesn't make this look too bad. That was like 460. Um, so it doesn't make this one look too bad. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's get some uh, pipes hooked up here, actually, before we finish this up. So I did pick up a couple of extra pipes. So this is the V8 overhead valve M. Then we have what rear muffler V8 overhead valve M. Okay, so we're gonna do the full. This is actually kind of nice. This part right here is the actual part I like. So this full exhaust here goes from the front all the way to the rear. Okay, where's the other half of it? There it is. We need two of those. So this cuts out making, I um, mean, having to put like four different things in. More than that, actually. Let's drop this bad boy out. Drop that old fuel tank. I did already pick up a fuel filter, so let's just get ourselves a new steel tank. And. Wrong, wrong fuel filter or fuel pump and there we go all right so now the motor back is doing pretty well um oh actually let me let me see oh if we can if we can click on it ah oh, there we go so we just put a v8 normal gearbox on here it looks like the other car with this dlc actually had a lot more stuff added in with it it even had its own gearbox and everything um, but there we go. There is the motor, guys. It is fully done. Put in the, it's put in, hooked down. Uh, exhaust pipes are ran. Fuel tank is ready. So we have, we could technically start this up if we wanted to. I just have to put in what a battery, and a cooler, or front radiator, not a cooler. Um, but af after that, though, we would, we'd be running. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to because this thing looks terrible. Um, but we are going to be fixing this up in the next video, getting the tires. Uh, body we get it painted get it looking fantastic. I'm not even sure what color this is. It's just like this primer gray that like every Every new body panel is but It should be looking good by the end of next video. So if you guys want to see that one stay tuned uh, Probably be out tomorrow. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one If you did leave a like comment down below like I said earlier guys if you guys aren't subscribed yet Please hit that subscribe button. We're getting close to a hundred K which will be super 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 exciting um, so thank you all for watching and hopefully I will see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.